Really experimenting with angles now, aren't we? This looks like a '90s music video, like you know when they film from like low angles and you like sing or like rap or whatever. Yeah, but we unfortunately have some product placement going on right now. We'd have to change this with like a different fruit, like oh. how most cartoons do it. This is not a Mac ad, believe it or not. <laughs> so, welcome back to V Blogs. As promised, we're gonna be watching the creepy haunted cursed Japanese Kleenex commercial, which is quite a handful to say. And it's such a weird concept, like a Kleenex commercial is supposed to be cursed, which is so weird and so random. Kleenex is a brand. Like it's not even like just like, okay, fun fact. I used to call every tissue Kleenex. Everybody does. But it's not always. There's a word for it. It's the same it's reason- It's a tissue. Like people call Q-tips Q-tips. But that's They're a brand. They're cotton swabs. Yeah. There's a word for it. I don't know what that word is. Probably another brand. <laughs> Anyway, as promised, we're gonna be watching this right now. It's only 30 seconds. We can't show it for copyright reasons, even though it's from the 80s, so I don't think they would do anything, but just in case, you guys will just hear the sound and us reacting to it, so Ty, you gotta be over here so you can see the creepy But I don't commercial. wanna be over there. I'm happy over here. Maybe I just wanna listen to it. No, you gotta watch it too. It can't be just me. And if you guys want to watch it along with us or watch it after, it's available on YouTube. You can find it just by typing in Kleenex commercial. Or, sorry, cursed Kleenex commercial. Otherwise, you'll just get a bunch of Kleenex commercials. We don't need a bunch of people watching Kleenex commercials. <laughs> watch when, like, the ad for this video is Kleenex. That would be pretty funny. That would freak everybody out, though. It might be. They'd be like, no, turn it off. Well, it's the same thing when we did the review for Us when it came out. Oh, movie. yeah, the scary movie. All our ads were the Us trailers. We don't control this, it's just how it goes. Yeah, we don't pick the ads. The ads pick us. But if you want to watch them all the way through, it supports us. Anyway. <laughs> okay, come here. A little bit desperate. <laughs> come here, it's Q it's time. It's Q time? All right, we're just gonna play it. I'm so nervous right now. Oh, this is like classic YouTube. Like the screen isn't even widescreen. It's I remember when YouTube was just all this. Yeah. You just like watch Smosh. It's a square. It, it, you have to remember they can't see it. <laughs> it's a square. Well, if you guys are watching with us, you can see it. It's just like this woman in white and this little red. He's supposed to be like a demon baby apparently. And uh, yeah, let's watch it, ready? Here okay. we go. So it's literally just an old German song, apparently. And it looks like he's wearing like a leaf for a hat. No, that's his hair. Okay, it's really creepy. Ew. I'm getting like goosebumps. What? Kleenex. He what? Said, he said Kleenex at the I end. know he said Kleenex. Oh, <laughs> he's like Kleenex and you're like, I can what? Read. <laughs> I can read. Ew, that was so disturbing. Nobody used Kleenex how you're supposed to. She just used it as like a paper airplane, a really bad one. Uh, I feel weird. And that little person was like very upset. Yeah, I know. I can't make fun of the hair because my hair's worse. So I would be like way more freaked out after watching that if I didn't do more research actually just like an hour ago. So before I watched this cursed commercial, I wanted to see if it was actually like a hoax or not, which obviously when things are cursed, a lot of the time it is a hoax, unfortunately, or fortunately, I should say. Depends on if you like curses or not. Anyways. Most people don't. <laughs> so supposedly the people in this commercial were supposed to have mysteriously died after filming it. And that was like the whole like cursed thing about it. Went on the internet, looked it up, and apparently all the actors that were in it are actually still alive and still working. So that's a good sign. And then there was the whole thing about the cameraman, how he went into a sauna after filming and like mysteriously died and never came out. Well, the cameraman is still alive and kicking. 
just research that. So that He's makes very me... well off and limber after a nice sauna. He's very happy. He's been in there for a long time. Apparently all of those actors are good. Apparently back in the 80s when this aired, that was like the, the devil version of the Kleenex, but they also released another one where the little boy or little girl was an angel. So they had like two versions of this Kleenex commercial, but in 2006, only one was uploaded and it was the one that we just watched with the little devil baby. And it just freaked people out because it was a really old commercial and people just thought for some reason it was haunted or cursed. So Why it's not they, actually. What went through their heads? Why were they thinking about that? Like, I'm guessing it was like, it was Japanese, right? Yes, it was a Japanese so commercial. So it was supposed to be a little Japanese demon, I'm guessing? So I found out, actually. It's from an old anime, and I don't remember the name. I'm so sorry. If anyone knows what it is, definitely comment it down below. But actually, that was a character from an anime at the time that was really popular. So I guess it was like some okay, like... <laughs> you were saying like the Japanese like demons and all that stuff. Oh, that's just all from anime. <laughs> it's like, I'm pretty sure there's a very rich history on where... No, no, no. It was, a, a it was an actual from. character from an anime that was really popular at the time. So they used that in the commercial and it did really well and uh yeah the reason why they made the commercial look so strange was to get people talking because when you make a weird commercial people say like hey have you seen that weird kleenex commercial and it gets people like you know well that's all people did back in the day i remember when the what's up commercial came on do you remember that one i don't know what that is what's up I feel like I've heard it, like that, I recognize that. Yes, because everybody knows what it is and everyone would just send it to each other and it was like this little pixelated picture that would go, What's up? And that's Wait, all it was. what commercial was that from? I think it was for like a beer commercial or something. I don't know, I, I, I'm, I was, I was too young to know what it was. I just knew it was, What's up? <laughs> that's about it. So, Let's see what it was. I'll just look it up, but I'm not gonna play it. Yeah, you probably can't. That's probably copyrighted for sure. I feel like this 80s commercial wouldn't be because it's just too old. You know? uh, it was before YouTube's time. Apparently, if it is what I think it is, yeah, it's uh, Budweiser, I think. Oh, okay, so it is a beer. Yeah, 13 years ago. Makes me feel young. Yeah. Those were the days. I feel really old. I'm 26 now. Born in the 90s. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys end up watching uh, the creepy commercial, definitely comment. Oh. You started playing it again! What are you doing? What, what, turn what, it off! You just said it was a hoax! I know, but it still freaks me out. I just pressed the back button. The music is still scary. Close the laptop. He's like replaying it. Like, I only need to watch a curse commercial back once. When you looked up, like, to the page where it says curse commercials, and there's just like somebody covering themselves with mayo. The norm. Anyway, if you guys end up fantastic. watching the creepy Kleenex commercial, comment down below what you think, what your thoughts are. Do you agree that it's most likely a hoax? Because that's what I think. Because I like to investigate these things. I would never want to steer you guys wrong. Like as Jesse said, she wants to double check these things. And like, there's a lot of stories that go around just with almost anything really. Because I remember, I think you did the Wizard of Oz. Mm -hmm one just recently actually Today. and like even me growing up I heard about a lot of like dark things that happened on the set and I think you, you talked about a few of them some of the vid of course was disproved but also like I think just common knowledge out of my head about what happened to the uh, actress who was playing the Wicked Witch yeah and I think they actually used the footage for it because there's the one scene that you probably touched on it where fire erupts and there's a trap door and the trap door didn't open and she suffered severe burns and it actually yeah. had to put the production on I talked about that. Yeah, everything in that Wizard of Oz video actually happened and it's really upsetting, but also just shows how different film was back then because a lot of the stuff they did back then would not be allowed at all today. So it's interesting to talk about. But Asbestos. Asbestos for snow. That was not good. Anyways, though, speaking of... Wizard of Oz, at the end of that video I talked about how there was a paranormal game that we could play that has to do with ruby slippers. And basically you go into the closet and pick out a pair of red shoes and play the game. So do I think- Do you have red shoes though? My mom has red shoes. My I mom, won't fit in them, Jess. <laughs> not you, me. My mom has every color of shoe. So in the next vlog, we're actually gonna play that game. And it's funny because we were just there for the Pop-Tart challenge and now we're going back there for the Wizard of Oz game. So my mom's gonna kill us. We keep using her stuff, her bathroom, her closet, everything. Currently right now, we don't have a lot of closet space. No. No. Over there, the closet doesn't close, it's just uh, curtains. We're just doing segues. Speaking of that, this closet freaks me out. Why does it Every freak Every single me? night, 
waking up because I haven't been sleeping well, and it always looks like something's standing there because Ew, of those curtains. stop! It takes me a second every time, but it always looks like something's right there. I don't know why I don't think of it there. It's only there. It's on the right side you see something? Only there. Never Ew, there. Ty. Only there. Yeah, but you always see stuff. You freak me out. I'm just insane. I'm just crazy. Literally, anytime he wakes up in the middle of the night from a dream and he's like freaking out, I'm like, what? And he's like, saw something in the corner of the room, but don't worry about it. Every time! And I'm like, oh, so now I'm just gonna sleep peacefully, thank you. Misery loves company, Jess. I just don't want you to sleep either. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's just us sitting in my room right now, but we are in... I'm gonna say the word in a different way. Quarantine. We're in isolation. That's a good word, yes. Because <laughs> we're not allowed to say the Q word on YouTube, so I'm like trying to like reword it like qu quartz teen. Like say it wrong, and then YouTube won't know. We're in Quarella. Cantaloupes. Cantaloupe starts with C, you goof. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds similar. No, it doesn't. We're in a Q-tip right now, so um, all we can do is really sit and do vlogs because we can't go anywhere, so. Our ears are clean, though. But our ears are very clean. Don't use Q-tips for that. They tell you not to. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's true. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night and stay tuned for our Ruby Slipper Paranormal Game. Bye. See you guys.